Elon Musk is always working on the most advanced problems, seemingly bringing forward inventions from the future. Most people think in weeks and months, whereas Elon's mind works in decades and centuries. He recently announced the all-new hydrogen Tesla line. Now everybody is trying to figure out if it's the hydrogen or the electric car that is most environmentally friendly. Or how do the two technologies differ? If you are looking for the same answers, then you have landed on the correct video. Welcome back to Everything Elon where we give you the most up-to-date info on Elon Musk and his billion-dollar companies. Today, we will go into what Elon Musk actually thinks about hydrogen cars and his next move. Stick around until the end when we reveal everything. Let's start at the start. The first hydrogen car was the Renault Kangoo's, launched back in 2014. It was this short wheelbase van that kick-started this wave of new environmentally friendly vehicles. Back in 2014, hydrogen was an obscure technology that didn't really have a place on the main stage. Back then, even electric vehicles were a strange concept that everybody thought would never work. Look how that turned out. While Tesla first introduced its battery-operated electric car in 2012, its very first model, the Model S, was hailed all over the world as the first appealing electric car. Since then, Tesla has gone from strength to strength with global adoption and mass market appeal. Tesla is now closing in on one of its final milestones, releasing a truly low-cost, mass-market electric car. So how does a hydrogen car actually work? Hydrogen cars have a tank that supplies high-pressure hydrogen to something called the fuel cell. The fuel cell mixes the high-pressure hydrogen with oxygen which actually creates water. This process is called hydrolysis and during the process, zaps of electricity are byproducts that are harnessed and sent to the electric motor, propelling the vehicle forward. A hydrogen vehicle uses an electric motor, so the characteristics are very similar. It is almost silent and full of torque, so the power hits the wheels quickly. Hydrogen is one of the most abundant elements in the universe. All stars are predominantly hydrogen, including our sun. Most hydrogen deposits on Earth are found in our oceans, where it can be easily harvested. It's colorless, odorless, tasteless, non-toxic, and highly combustible. Sounds great, right? Now let's discuss hydrogen versus electric cars. Electric cars are previously charged and the energy is released from the battery as it drives. On the other hand, hydrogen cars have a tank that supplies high-pressure hydrogen to fuel cells to create energy and propel the vehicle forward. Both hydrogen and electric vehicles are free from emissions of toxic fumes or chemicals to the environment. The only byproduct of the hydrogen car is water and heat. So which is better, hydrogen or electric? Although hydrogen and electric are similar, there is one practical difference. They can be easily filled up at a station in a few minutes, just like that of a normal car which uses diesel or petrol. As the reaction to create the energy happens on board the vehicle, they are very similar in practicality to traditional cars. Depending on who you are, this could be a pro or a con. However, the general consensus, if you do travel large distances, is having to wait for a charge is a net negative. Electric cars do, however, steal the crown when it comes to energy efficiency. Electric cars are more efficient as compared to hydrogen cars. Out of 1,000 watts, an electric vehicle would be able to utilize 80% of that power, whereas a hydrogen car would struggle to even use 35% of the power. Most of the energy is lost cooling and compressing the hydrogen and due to electrolysis, a process of converting raw hydrogen energy into electricity. Now let's discuss which car emits more toxic fumes into the environment. Though both of the cars are considered environmentally friendly, emitting zero toxic fumes into the environment, their manufacturing process is something to consider. As Toyota's head of commercialization of hydrogen vehicles, John Hunt stated that a lot of energy is consumed in the manufacturing process of the lithium-ion batteries for electric cars. For the production of a 100 kilowatt-hour battery, around 20 tons of carbon dioxide is consumed. So to make things clear, a typical battery that lasts for 150,000 miles, which means 83 grams of carbon dioxide per kilometer is consumed and around 124 grams of carbon dioxide per kilometer is emitted into the environment. 
hydrogen is slated to be used in more and more commercial vehicles, and we expect to see many more of them on the road. They offer an excellent alternative to battery-powered cars, giving you an environmentally friendly vehicle that won't create a huge change in your daily routine. In fact, hydrogen will not only prove super successful in the automobile industry, but will soon be used for trains and lorries as these are areas where charging can cause delay issues. Elon Musk originally downplayed hydrogen vehicles, but it is now becoming apparent that they are something not to be ignored. Tesla will need to come up with a plan to boost the range, reduce charging time all whilst reducing the cost just to compete. Given the fact that Elon Musk thinks in decades, there is a strong possibility he is already contemplating adopting some hydrogen technology and incorporating into the Tesla ecosystem. Given the fact that it is the most abundant element in the universe, it could be harnessed to produce energy on Earth or Mars, and that is something we are confident Elon has in his mind. What are your thoughts on hydrogen cars, and do you think that they will beat electric cars? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon button so that you don't miss our next video.